Hello, welcome to ISTV English News. This is Panorama giving you the news. Let's see the headlines. Market women vendors hold protest demonstration against bomb blasts at chicken market at Quirambund. MSCP merges with BJP. Frequent incidents of bomb blasts in the state is the failure of the present government, says TH Chauba. And World Kidney Day observed in Manipur too. News in detail. Market women vendors of Quirambun Market today held a protest demonstration against the incident of bomb explosion that occurred around 6 p.m. yesterday at the chicken market near the temporary market in which three persons were killed and more than 20 persons, including women, were injured. The Quirambun Market remained closed today. Shops and business establishments pulled down shutters. One of the women protesters said yesterday's bomb explosion was a very unfortunate incident. Such act should not be repeated ever again in future, she said. On the other hand, Emily of Hengang Assembly constituency and Biren today visited the Reims Hospital and inspected the condition of the persons who suffered injuries in yesterday's bomb explosion at the chicken market. Condition of most of the injured persons uh, was stated to be stable. In connection with the inspection visit, Emily Biren said, what would those responsible gain by planting bomb amid the innocent people causing death and injuries? He would urge the government to strengthen the present state of security, he said. security forces in the style of sacking. Security system is improved on the regard. I do not much a quite self be meeting the old money line of the way higher can the section of the owner by his high degree. I can be present beginning. Meanwhile, many organizations have expressed strong condemnation of the bomb explosion. Some Muslim organizations have also expressed sorrow over the death of a student called Salman Khan in the blast. President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, T.H. Chauba, has said that Manipur State Congress Party, MSCP, has merged with the BJP from today. He announced this at a press meet held at the party office at Nitya Pachate. Vice President of BJP National Schedule Tribe Morcha, Professor Gangumai Kamei, Secretary of National Yuba Morcha Dhoni, President of MSCP Adim Pame, were also present at the meet. Seven leaders of MSCP, including the former Director of Social Welfare Department, Z Saitabati, joined BJP today, and Party President Chawa has approved their joining. Speaking to media persons, he said, Frequent incidents of bomb blasts happen in Imphal city, where a large number of security personnel are deployed due to the encouragement given to the security personnel by the present government in asking pocket money from the drivers instead of concentrating on their duties. On the other hand, Adim Pamai, president of MSCP, who joined BJP today, said, 
As the MSCP is being merged with the BJP from today, the conflict for length of the office is over forever. He further said he joined BJP with the objective of saving the Manipuri people from the jaws of corruption of the Congress government. National Yuba Morja Secretary Dhoni said in the coming general election, Many MLAs of the party will come up in Manipur with thumping victory as Modi Late's government's dream is brightening day by day and making its best efforts to bring about a corruption-free country and bring prosperity and development to the needy people. President Chawa further alleged that the present government has failed in protecting life and property of the people as it is indulging in corruption. The government has even forgotten to issue arms and vehicles to the security forces in the hills. He also said frequent explosion of bombs in the state is the failure of the present government to utilize the numerous security personnel. <laughs> World Kidney Day on the team Kidney Health for All was observed in Manipur today. The day was observed at a function organized by All Manipur Kidney Transplant Patients Welfare Association held at the Manipur Press Club. Chairman of PDA, T. Mangibabu, MLA Vice Shurchandra, and Director of Health Services, Dr. Oi Bomja, were the main guests at the function. Nephrologist of Reims, Professor L.K. Sarachandra, and Nephrologist of Sijo Hospital, Dr. Gulibar Posangbam, spoke as the research persons. Former chairman of ICM, K. H. Borkishore, himself a kidney transplant patient, said that it is not widely known that transplant of kidney cost more than 20 lakh rupees and that the patient will have to take medicine for lifelong. Besides, as the medicines are quite expensive, many patients have died due to their inability to purchase the medicines. In other states of India, the medicines are given free of cost to the patients. If such schemes is implemented in Manipur too, the patients will be able to live long in this regard, the state government needs to pay special attention, he said. The World Kidney Day was observed by some other organizations too at different places in the state. Sky Hospital has begun a free dialysis camp for kidney patients from today in connection with the observance of World Kidney Day. The camp will be held for one month and kidney patients will be dialysized free of cost. Talking to media persons, Managing Director of the hospital, L. Samuel, said during the one-month camp, patients will be given three to four times dialysis for stage one. The cost of one-time dialysis is about 3,000 rupees. He further appealed to the people to take precautionary measures for heart and kidney by taking regular check in order to decrease the rising rate of kidney failure and heart stroke in the state. Approximately 8 to 10 percent of the population, of the adult population, suffer from chronic kidney disease. And so we want, uh, and, this, and the underlying cause uh, for the majority of them are due to high blood pressure and diabetes. So we would like to pass on the message uh, to your viewers and also to the general public uh, to control diabetes and control your blood pressure uh, and to take preventive, preventative actions to uh, prevent chronic kidney failure, which may result in very expensive long-standing treatments like um, ongoing dialysis service or very expensive kidney transplants. Now the national and international news. The Congress came out in full force to defend former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, who has been summoned as an accused in the coal block allocation scam case. 
Congress President Sonia Gandhi along with senior party leaders marched from Congress headquarters to Man Mohan Singh's house to express solidarity with him on Thursday. Sonia said, we are outraged at news of summons being served to Man Mohan Singh. He is known the world over as a man of integrity, property. The Congress is fully behind him. We are sure that he will be vindicated. Vaking Manmohan Singh, former finance minister P. T. Tambaram said, the whole world is aware of the personal integrity and honesty of Dr. Manmohan Singh. We respect the judicial system. This case has been a misstep. Home Minister Ratsnath Singh on Thursday issued advisory to the Jammu and Kashmir government on Hariyat Hardlina Musarat Alam and said all 27 cases against the separatists should be pursued vigorously and his bail should also be challenged. Singh has asked the state government to mount surveillance on Alam and his associates. He added that the state government will carry surveillance in tandem with central security agencies. The remarks came as the Home Minister was making statement in the Rajya Sabha on the second report sent by the state government on Alam's release. The MHA is unsatisfied with the report and has sought more clarification from the government. Meanwhile, Alam had on Wednesday clarified that his release was in accordance with the law and no deal was struck with the People's Democratic Party in Jammu and Kashmir. A Patna businessman who reigned from pillar to post fat of, of power fluctuation was has been compensated with rupees 80,000 by electricity firm. An Ara resident Padmaraj Kumar Jain has been awarded rupees 80,000 by the Consumer Grievance Redressal Forum of the South Bihar Power Distribution Company Limited as BPDCL in lieu of low quantum of boulders supplied to his residential premises. Businessman Jain, 63, is an active member of several trade, social and cultural bodies. It was in June 2007 that he first lodged a complaint with the energy firm officials at ARA against low and fluctuating voltage over two years. Our appliances conk out. The other day we had to use a genset to fill our water tank, he said, and aided repeated complaints fail on deaf ear, however. After Maharashtra, Haryana government will introduce a bill in the budget session to ban bip and cow slaughter in the state. Punishment under section 302, which amounts to murder, will be slapped for cow slaughter and possession of bip will also be included as crime. Haryana Agriculture Minister Om Prakash Dankar had on March 8 said that the state is set to introduce a bill for protection and upkeep of cows in the station. In the proposed governs Sankarakas and Gau Sambardhan, cow protection and cow conservation and development bill efforts will be made to ban cow slaughter and for conservation and better care of indigenous cattle, he said. India offered US dollar five hundred million concessional line of Credit to Mauritius for key infrastructure projects even as the two countries agreed to continue negotiations on hammering out a revised double tax treaty to prevent its abuse. The two countries also signed five agreements, including one on developing ocean economy after talks between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Mauritian counterpart Anirudh Jagnauj on the first day of his two-day visit to the strategic Indian Ocean Island nation. I was pleased to offer a concession line of credit of US dollar 500 million for civil infrastructure projects for Mauritius. We intend to quickly build the petroleum storage and bunkering facility in Mauritius, Prime Minister Modi said at the signing of the PACs. Addressing a joint news conference with Modi, Jocknot said he had raised with the Indian Prime Minister issues related to the Mauritius India Double Taxation Avoidance Agreement, DTAA. Two police officers were shot during a protest outside the Ferguson Mishari Police Department early on Thursday, the St. Louis Post-Dispatch newspaper reported.
The Post Dispatch reported that Ferguson Lieutenant Colonel Earl Ickoff said he did not believe either of the officials were part of his department. He could not provide details on their injuries to the Post Dispatch. A few dozen demonstrators fled following the sound of gunfire around midnight with some screaming. They hit a cop, according to a reader photograph her at uh, the scene. Police could not be reached immediately for command. Several dozen protesters had gathered in front of the Ferguson Police Department earlier on Wednesday night. Just hours after the city police chief, Thomas Jackson announced his resignation. Before we wrap up the headlines once again. Market women vendors hold protest demonstration against bomb blast at chicken market at Quiramband. MSCP merges with BJP. Frequent incidents of bomb blast in the state is the failure of the present government, says D. H. Chauva. And World Kidney Day observed in Manipur too. Thank you for watching our news and for more updates, please stay tuned.